Hello, welcome to another edition of A Lot of Help with James Lott Jr. I am James Lott Jr., JLJ Media, and I am the JLJ of JLJ Media. And I love bringing you people who are doing health and wellness. And these two you may recognize them sometimes because of television and stuff. We know all that stuff. But these are two quality leaders in the world of rejuvenation and wellness and, um, and all kinds of stuff. So we're going to talk to both of them because they co-founded a place called Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center. And we're going to talk about what they offer, what they do, and a little bit about them. Because I actually have a couple of questions to you guys about a couple yeah. of things that are not wellness related. Uh, but they both are amazing. Dan Holt and Devin Heyman. How are you guys doing, gentlemen? Doing great. Doing Thanks. great. Thanks for having us, James. So actually, I actually want to ask you something totally off topic for a second, Devin. Sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, it is you. Okay, yes. I see you're a fellow equestrian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love horses. Horse oh, I grew up with them and everything. So you said I heard you have horses on your on your ranch. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up a uh, small town and mm -hmm. on a big farm in Indiana, and we had a couple of horses and ponies. And then uh, my brother moved to Nashville, bought a ranch, and then I bought a ranch next to him, and we've got about fifty horses. So I love going back there, you know, six, seven times a year and riding horses a couple hours a day. I know I love. It's what so in my opinion you know, horses are very compassionate very um in the moment animals like they know they okay. feel they like, sense everything yeah why do you why do you like horses it's it is, it's a connection i've had since i was a kid i just love i love all animals but especially horses it's something about them that i just have this bond and chemistry and just love you know the connection with horses and uh, and riding too as well so so my brother has one of the largest horseback riding businesses in nashville he'll do like 50 60 people a day on horse rides you know so um so yeah they they you know keeps them all active and and in, you know good shape and, and moving so i've got a couple that i like that are fast so so i stick to those i love it i do i love it thank you for answering that and dan <laughs> uh race cars <laughs> A little bit of racing, yes, sir. Isn't that dangerous? <laughs> well, <laughs> here and there, here and there, it gets a little sketchy, but uh, for the most part, it's fun. And then you will occasionally have a moment where it gets a little difficult, you know. You, those concrete walls, uh, they don't move very much when you hit them going 100 mile an hour. And, and uh, you definitely remember why you're, you're, you, you never forget the feeling of hitting that wall that hard. It's it's quite amazing. And uh, well, he he's uh, he's still racing now, and yeah. sixty three, competing against guys twenty thirty years old. You know, at a high level. That's amazing. I mean, so you have a, do you have like a love of cars, or was it a love of racing first? Like, how did that how did that happen? It's just racing to me. I, I look, I like cars. You know, I like fast cars, Ferraris, that type of thing. I love all those. But I don't, I actually drive an F-150 four-door pickup on the street. Oh, wow. Because I just got to keep the tickets under control. The truth of the matter is, I get so many tickets driving that, that if I was driving a Ferrari, it would just, be, I'd already be in prison. You know, there's no way. I, I got picked up four times last month alone. You know, it's just out of control. So, uh, but racing is really, for me, that's what it is. It's a love racing i love the competitive it, yeah it's just the competition you know it's so hard to do that i absolutely love it just like running med spas right so hard to do that i love it <laughs> i know that I, I was saying that I was, I was gonna make i was gonna make a connection today you did it for me you're your pro I was saying, there's a connection there so both you guys there's a connection in there um mm -hmm. with that well actually a connection with you two both also because of I know you're a pilot also, Devin. You yeah. do pilot, you are racing cars, horseback. These are all things that are fun. Yeah. But they've all got some some kind of risk involved. There we go. There's some kind yeah, of risk. Risk, risk and adrenaline. And that's oh, yeah. why, you know, with what we do, it's about keeping the adrenaline low until you need it. At that's, that right. Moment. So, that's right. Like that. How did you two meet? We met actually through basically, I owned a chain of tanning salons, uh, Sunset Tanth Time. And uh, Dan was one of our clients coming in. And, and, you know, he was already by himself trying to find doctors uh, to help him on, uh, you know, low testosterone levels, low hormone levels. And, and I just started hearing about it as well. At 40 years old, I noticed the effects of aging. And, um, you know, I ruptured my Achilles after five minutes of playing basketball, some joint pains. I was losing muscle mass. And I'm like, at 40 years old, if I'm feeling this now, what's going to happen at 50 and at 60 and 70? 
And so I've got to figure out what's going on. And, and fortunately, I met Dan through one of my managers at my uh, Sunset Tan. We met and really hit it off. He got me on a, a hormone program with a doctor. And I remember after two weeks, you know, just waking up in the morning and I was like goosebumps, like, wow, this is how I felt at, you know, 20, 25 years old. It just felt incredible. And then so we met about, you know, look, this is so good. He was already at the time, you know, helping a lot of his friends and family and next thing that everybody knocking on his door trying to, because they saw the improvements in his life. He'd been on it now for a couple of years. And uh, so we decided, hey, look, this is too good for us to, you know, just to keep to ourselves. The world needs to know about this. And we decided to open up Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center. So that was our first clinic it was really with the passion of, you know, what we've gone through and the eight effects of aging and, and how we can help other people. And, you know, and then Dan just, you know, he had a construction company going at racing school and I had Sunset Tan, a real estate company I was running and a bunch of other things. So it wasn't like we were looking for another company or a job, but, you know, the passion was there. Like, look, this is something pretty amazing that will change lives, save lives and help people. So, so we got together and opened our first one now almost 20 years ago. Well, yeah, I can tell you something, Devin. I went to well, your Sunset Tan back in the day. Oh, wow. Really? I, I, when, when I read your thing, I was like, wait a minute. You, you was the owner, owner of that? I'm like, <laughs> so I know folks are like, why'd you go, James? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why I went was um, I needed to even out uh, right. that you don't see oh, yeah. uh, for a photo shoot that I was doing years ago. Yeah. And it was like, I needed it because my arms were way lighter and we're going to show my right. arms. And mm -hmm. it, it really was to even. I mean, so, yes, yeah, yeah. some folks with color can yeah. need a tan too. Um, yeah. But that was something I went to. I went to your I went to. Oh, other great. Place. Great. So, yeah. So, you like, know, the whole Sunset Tan. Then we had a reality show on E Entertainment for three years as well. Yes. Yes, I remember that. So I was like, so I was always like, the ones you know that this is. I have a personal connection to you, even though you didn't know me. I yeah. did. I did do that. Um, but that's very cool that you like you were you guys kind of just fell together through business, so to speak, through yeah, yeah. health, yeah. and and then became and became business partners. So you guys were like, you both were like, this is this is some important stuff. So explain to me, explain to the folks out there who are like, what's a rejuvenation center? I've heard that. I've heard. I heard the word rejuvenation, like. What does that mean for you guys? What do you guys offer? Everything that makes you look and feel your best. So it could be, you know, it could be energy related. It could be aesthetic related. It might be a, a treatment to regenerate collagen in the skin. It might be, you know, hormonal supplementation to get the energy up. And, and now we've got, it's just getting crazy how good this is it, it's so exciting some amazing things just happened today i just got off a call we're 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 developing ways um to impact aging that are just nothing short of profound i mean today what i learned what we are now going to have access to is going to change the way humans um, the way they age, it's just going to slow the aging process down so much. It's hard to believe. I can't even really get into it too much. Right, right. But I can tell you that um, I'm going to be doing some treatments on Friday. Me and a couple of A-list celebrities that you would know very well are going to be doing some treatments that are so shocking. The results are so shocking um, that it's it's hard to even believe what you can achieve now with uh, with some of the discoveries, the recent discoveries that are out there that impact aging. And, and it's just kind of, it's almost like you can just about reverse anything now that's yeah. problematic. It's, it's not really just is. about slowing, but actually reversing. Yeah, reversing. Well, there's, there's, there, there's just, there's a, there was a 71 year old actress that was just treated um, with, with this particular treatment that is, is in four months now. And the arguments are that they're about 20 year age reversal and appearance in four months. It's really shocking. I mean, it, we're just, there's so much happening right now in this industry. It's such an exciting time. And there's just so many opportunities to address whether it's joint degeneration, whether it's aesthetics, whatever, hair on the head, 
it's truly amazing. And now we're going to have access to some more tools that within the next probably 30 days, we'll have access to this stuff. We'll be able to do treatments that are just going to have even a much more profound impact than we've ever had before. I'm glad and, you brought it up. No, I'm glad you said yeah. it. I was going to ask you, you guys must have to, because things are changing, I mean, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You must be always keeping the, the lookout, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is really about messaging. So when you're, as you go through life and you age, um, what really kind of happens is that the messaging, the signaling for your, your body to repair and regenerate kind of goes away. So it's now been discovered that you can, you can refire that messaging again through treatments. You can make that messaging start up again and start recreating and regenerating that, whether it's a joint, whether it's skin, whether it's hair, whether it's whatever. So we, we now have access to the tools that make that messaging occur. And we can recreate that messaging and make your body start regenerating in a very profound way. So it's pretty exciting times. Yeah, I mean, all three of us are of a certain age. We, we remember the old days of, you know, of all kinds of stuff that was being happening back in the day. Yeah. I had yeah. friends going and taking, you know, mayonnaise in their face and all, I mean, all kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but yeah. they all kind of, it was all kinds of stuff. So I'm glad to see you guys are staying current and up to date. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the one thing we do. Is fortunately being here in the Los Angeles area, a lot of these different products and treatments and devices and everything kind of comes our way, and we're able to do trials on them. We've got some new amazing technologies called Cell Sound just came out for fat reduction, body contouring, face and body uh, using all therapy versus um, ultrasound versus radio, you know, radio frequency, or you've heard of cool sculpting, freezing fat. So yeah. it's pretty amazing. The new technology, everything's getting better, you know, and more efficient, more effective. And, and less pain, you know, yeah. like cell sound treatments aren't even painful. Yeah. You can go all the way down 10 centimeters down. <laughs> it will liquefy visceral fat. It will literally, with sound waves, melt the fat, feed it back into your bloodstream as food, essentially, right? So you will literally metabolize the fat and, and even like, let's just say you got an area on the back of your arms, you're carrying a lot of fat, you can liquefy that, turn that back into food, make it disappear instantly, uh, instantly, like a significant amount of volume reduction instantly, like within 60 minutes, a much, a much more measurable, like two centimeters off of waist in one treatment and tighten the skin at the same time. How hard is that to believe, right? <laughs> that's our cell sound technology. No, that's a no. That's a you bring up a good point because I've had friends who've had surgeries and things in the loose yeah. fat, the loose skin and stuff. And you're that's saying right. sorry, you say you got stuff that actually does do two things at once. Yeah, the two things. It's it's truly crazy. It's one of the best machines now. Totally changing our industry. That combined with these other treatments I was just talking about. It's kind of like, I don't even know, it's hard to believe where this industry is going. It's like, it's it's almost hard to imagine where we're going to be in five years. Yeah, that's, that is amazing. But it's also exciting. That is, that yeah. is exciting. I mean, we're living longer and we're yeah. actually living healthier longer. That's the yeah. key is not just living longer, but healthy. You know, like, yeah. um, now we're going to have that quality of life. You know what I mean? So I know for some folks it is genetics. Sometimes, some sometimes you get great genetics. Mm -hmm. At times you just you don't. I mean, I mean, right. you, know, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just. And so you, if you want to fix stuff on you, yeah, it's like it's, I'm glad it's a place you can go to do that. Yeah, yeah. And we just launched here a couple of months ago. Another a lot of people were really interested in you know organic. They don't want certain dermal fillers because okay. not, you know. And, and we were able to come up with a product coming out of Italy and a device. Uh, I've heard of PRP, plasma-rich uh, platelets. Well, this is PRGF, plasma-rich growth factors, and it's got a gel matrix, so it's able to keep, so it's an organic fill. It'll keep your, your growth factors in place for about 21 days, so it's going to produce its own collagen, elastin, all that. 
So you get natural results versus a dermal filler. So it's pretty amazing. We're, and also with joints as well, is facial. So with PRP, it'll usually last, you know, it'll stay in place for what, 20 minutes or an hour. Yeah. Now it's 21 days while it's rebuilding, you know, its own, your body's own collagen. That is amazing. Um, what are you guys? What are you guys doing with the in the hair? Do you do anything hair stuff? I know. I know some technology has been changing from that. I mean, from the old days of the toupee, I remember that back in the day, to now where people, some people were tattooing stuff in there. I mean, what like what's going on with you guys in terms of hair? Yeah, well, a couple of the product I was just telling you about the organic filler, amazing results we're yeah. seeing. Dan just did treatment last week. We've done a few other people recently as well. The growth in hair with this product is again, it keeps your growth factors uh, in place for 21 days. So when you inject it in the scalp, we're getting amazing results. So that's yeah. one. And then now with this new technology we're looking at, that's supposed to be amazing the results that you're getting on, on hair regrowth. Yeah. So the 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 the, the enter it technology that Devin was just talking about, the original one, you know, you do some injections, you put those growth factors in has a big impact on hair regeneration. But now we can even go in and impact the messaging in the hair follicle development and, and impact that too. So you're hitting it from two perspectives that I, I would almost have to say that where I believe we're at right now is with no surgery, we should be able to just about completely reverse hair loss. Um, and with, with really, I, I mean, I, I'll be yeah. shocked if we can't, I mean, we're, we're already doing it pretty well, but with what just came and we we've added in now, what we're going to be adding in the next few weeks, I just think you're just going to see complete regeneration of hair on the head, you know? That's, I mean, it's, again, I've seen this whole cycle from, like I said, two yeah. pays back in the seventies to, yeah. to this. It's, I mean, cause for a lot of men. That is oh, yeah. our Achilles heel, is our yeah. hair. For That's sure. Oh, yeah. Is. yeah. And women as much, too. Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, sure. women, they, you know, oh, they man. tend to freak out a little more than even men when their hair starts to thin, if they have, you know, hypothyroidism sure. or anything that they, you know, they freak out. So women, you know, fortunately, they have enough hair to hide a lot of the thinness. You know, we're, yeah. you know, men, we don't. But, yeah, uh, but yeah they, they're just, they're, they're even more concerned about hair loss. Interesting. I just I saw a lot of guys who are like you have hair, James. Oh, yeah. down. I just I just well, have guys, you know, just shave it. You know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you look, if you have a good shaped head, not everybody's good yeah. shaped head. Right. That's good. But no, here's the thing. So, and I heard collagen is good for you anyway. I know people do it. My sister's doing collagen in her coffee. I mean, people mm -hmm. doing collagen at night. I mean, I've heard collagen. Is that the wonder thing right now? Is it collagen? What's going on? Well, you know, it, it's it's a piece of the puzzle, right? taking collagen can be helpful, but I think it's a little overstated and overrated on how much it actually produces. You know, if you're 20 and you supplement collagen, you might see a lot more than you did if you were 50 or 60. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now we're talking, you said something earlier, uh, Dan, and you, well, you both kind of mentioned a little bit. Do you want to know the outpatient invasive invasive they, they want to know and so you're saying at this point we're getting more and more to the kind of outpatient non-surgery right? like talk about that a little yeah. bit because if it's your center especially you have a lot of processes that are just come in go out that kind of thing let's talk about that well with with what has just arrived on our doorstep this new technology this messaging technology i really think you're gonna you're gonna see facial reconstruction stuff start to go away. I don't think you're going to see people going under the knife. I think you're going to see people wanting to go down this road and regenerate. Now, you know, if you don't like your nose from when you were 18, you're probably not going to like it when you're 40 if you're just, but my point is, if you have facial features that you're already comfortable with, I believe we're now going to be able to regenerate that tissue back uh, to a much, much more youthful appearance now that we have this messaging part of regeneration figured out. But you know, people are always wondering if, 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 if go under a knife, under you know, anesthetics. So you're saying we're getting to the point where that might even be yeah. necessary. That's even better. Isn't That's that right. better? That's right. Yeah. And, and by the way, when you do this corrective 
messaging, when you correct this messaging in the body, it corrects the metabolism, <laughs> it, energy, ability to build muscle, all of these things are, are majorly impacted. So, you know, I mean, it, it just, it fixes so many pieces of the puzzle. It addresses so many pieces of the puzzle that were, that make us not happy in our elderly lives. Like, you know, I had a much faster metabolism five, six years ago. Well, now after my treatments this week, I'm going to expect to see that metabolism go much, much faster. My ability to pack on muscle will come back. My joint regeneration in my shoulders should, well, there's no question in my mind that it's going to be completely regenerated. Now, uh, I'm definitely going to ask you, is this really great for business though also? Because you're taking out some possibles when you, when you have to put people under and stuff. Now you actually, this is probably better for business. You probably get more customers coming in, more clients. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how, how about that a little bit? Everything that we've always done here is non-surgical. So, yeah. you know, and with technology over the last, since we started 20 years, it just keeps getting better, better, more, you know, uh, effective, more efficient, you know, whether it's Morpheus 8 microneedling treatments, whether it's even the cool skull thing helped a lot to reduce fat, skin tightening, whether it's, you know, ultrasound or radio frequency, injectables for contouring the face, uh, hair regrowth, all this stuff. So people are able to come and do a lot more stuff now uh, and avoid, you know, getting plastic surgery, at least for a while anyway. But now with the new regeneration of cells that we're looking to implement, you know, that should even help even longer. So that's not just about you know, uh, slowing the aging, but also reversing the aging process. So yeah, everything we do is non-surgical, whether it's injectables, laser treatments, bioidentical hormone replacement. Uh, it's been a big part of our business since we started 20 years ago. That is, that is, that is incredible. Um, what are your thoughts on Botox and fillers and things like that? Because I know that's even changing too. Uh, a lot of folks, are, I know a lot of folks of my friends have decided not to do plastic surgery even years ago. And right. like, the fillers are working. Are they last? Are Botox? Is it lasting still a long time? I mean, how? Talk about that a little bit. I'm kind of curious. Several months. Yeah, Botox lasts several months. You know, yeah. some people get four months out of it. You know, it's a it's a quick, easy way and very affordable way to address some fine lines that are you know that you don't like seeing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, although, you know, for for the people that can afford to. They can go after treating, you know, and start really treating the core problems, right? So you can either, you can consider Botox a little bit of a Band-Aid, which is fine. It's a very inexpensive, quick, easy way to address facial wrinkling and things like that. But if you want to get, you know, really get a little bit more, um, you know, get into spending a little more money, you just go address the core problem and start really fixing those wrinkles and lines with treating the core issue, right? In other words, getting that messaging right so that the body starts healing itself and repairing. And also optimizing your hormones as well, you know, yeah. especially women, estrogen levels, all these things. Absolutely. You know, if you optimize your hormones, you're going to see, you know, more hydration in the skin, less wrinkles, more you know, collagen, uh, you know, as well so we'll see females know, that yeah. come in here that that look 10 years younger after getting like they hit menopause then and, and we put them on a program they'll come in a couple months later looking 10 years younger just by getting that volume back in their skin and everything and their hair grows back on their head they're sleeping again so hormone optimization really impacts a lot of males and females for that matter in terms of energy quality of life, sleep, you know, and appearance. Yeah, you both have mentioned that. And we know, we know that it does. I mean, we, everything changes. You get older, just like just stuff yeah. shifts and change. And we're seeing that, especially men and women, hormonal yeah. issues. Yeah. Cause a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the reason why we have hormones. I mean, they're hormones for a reason. Um, and so I'm glad you guys are addressing that and able to. So for the people listening and watching out there, you're able to handle all that if you have a hormone. If you're going through perimenopause or menopause mm -hmm. or just getting yeah. older, you're able to handle that also, aren't you? Absolutely. We, I don't really feel that anybody's living a very high quality life unless they've optimized their hormones and keep them optimal. A hormone program is a transformation 
like it's shocking what it will do. I I can't imagine not having youthful hormone levels at this at this point. You know, I'm 63 years old. I I've got the hormones of a 20 year old, and I feel it. You know, I just feel so good all the time. I can't imagine going through life without having my hormones optimized. That sounds amazing. I I remember 20 years old. I'm like, oh, what was that? <laughs> that was a long time ago. I'm talking about that was a long time ago. Oh, I love that. Um, but Devin, so you've been very much an entrepreneur. Well, you both are entrepreneurs, but I mean, like, oh, Devin, you've done a bunch of, like I said, Sunset Ten. It was that always in your spirit to be an entrepreneur, or did you fall into it? Yeah, I kind of. I just, you know, ever since you know college, I was uh, playing college football, working a job. I was a mechanical engineer, taking eighteen credits, president of my fraternity. So it kind of, you know, it, and I then my last semester. Uh, I came back to finish one last semester. I wasn't, you know, I was done with football. I was being one of the assistant coaches. I probably did my worst because I had less going on. So with me, it's like, I've got to be juggling a lot of different things. So, you know, when I met Dan, I was already had, you know, I was running a commercial real estate company. I had four homes under development in Hollywood Hills. We had a party promotion company. We had Sunset Tan, franchising Sunset Tan. So I wasn't looking for another job. And, <laughs> And uh, fortunately, we we did, you know, uh, launch Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center. But yeah, it's always been part of who I've been, you know, since college, you know, to to run multiple. And I was a, after a mechanical engineer for three years, I got out of that, realized I was looking for more than being an engineer and got into real estate and then, you know, club promotion and Sunset Tan and then Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center. So that's a, that's a, I, I love it. I love it. I'm, you're a match my own heart. I like too many things. Too. <laughs> okay. I love it. Um, and so, Dan, in your spirit, I mean, so you have you, uh, you how entrepreneurship come to you? How did it come to you? Well, uh, I was uh, I was a general contractor uh, for you know many many years, building high end custom homes in Los Angeles and and racing cars a lot. And I just reached this point where, man, there was something wrong with me. You know, I just felt my energy decline and. And I was just, you know, just fatigued like crazy. And I went on this journey to try to figure out what was going on with my my energy problems and my strength and stamina. I was losing muscle mass like crazy and just wasn't feeling good. Um, of course, I, I, I figured out eventually that I had hormone deficiencies and uh, set out to correct that problem and which I did, uh, worked with a European endocrinologist. There was no place in the U.S. to get help back in those days, 25 years ago. And so after I got my hormones corrected, a bunch of people were asking me to help them. I started helping them, and then they wanted me to help their friends, and it, it just started exploding and taking off. And I thought, there's no way that this isn't going to be something big. So I thought... I got to create a place where people can go to get help. So that's how, you know, we set out with this company. First person I met trying to find the real estate was Devin. Um, and then he had the real estate that I wanted right across the street from this great big gym. And I thought, well, that'll be perfect. Well, then he was so excited about it. He said, well, I want to be your partner. So it kind of is funny how it worked out. And uh, we formed that partnership. Here we are nearly 20 years later, um, still, you know, expanding and building new stores. And uh, it's uh, it's been a great journey. Yeah, it's funny how, you know, back 20 years ago, we would have celebrities come in and they'd come hiding through the alley and oh, sneaking yeah. in and paparazzi getting pictures. And, you know, because back then it was like that steroid and oh, yeah. message of hormones. So it was a whole different world back 20 years ago. Yeah. Now, you know, a lot of these celebrities, they walk in and they don't care. You know, it's, yeah. it's common now. I mean, you hear yeah. everybody, you know, Oprah and all the different, the doctors, everybody's talking about, yeah, it's it's important to optimize your hormones um, to get with the right doctor or practice and and optimize them. It's it's healthy. It's it's the right thing to do. So, yeah, things are a little different nowadays. I'm glad you said that. I was going to say, again, we've seen the changes where people are going through the back door, hiding from National Enquirer. Trying yeah. to get some sun. I had no work done. You're like, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, now it's no shame. I don't like hearing yeah. it at this point. I mean, and it's so funny because it shouldn't be any shame. If you want to change yeah. about yourself, why mm -hmm. not? But well, you yeah. have to, buddy. Like, why? There's no shame in wanting to change your look or change your nose, like you said, or change your yeah. hair. No. Who cares? I I mean, I guess who cares? Yeah, I agree. 
you know. And because we are living longer and on the inside living healthier longer, we're in a new world kind yeah. of right of where it's like, oh, well, folks used to die at 32, you know, back in the day, and you know, at 40, you know, they didn't live as long like this. But you know, I'm not, you know, I tell them, I'll tell these folks before, and maybe my fans know before the show, I'm a grandfather. My grandfather looked like this. It was a whole different guy, no, a whole different no, grandparent. No. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? A whole different grandparent. Right. I'm yeah. like, I'm a different grandparent now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so we are we are aging a certain way, and a lot of us are still yeah. working, a lot of us are mm -hmm. out there in the public. So I think places like yours are actually very essential. Yeah. Uh, for maintenance. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And that's why we work on the inside out. We're not just doing aesthetic, you know, but let's get to the core root of the problem. Let's look at your, you know, blood tests. Check your divided vitamin deficiencies, hormone levels, and optimize that so that anytime you do get aesthetic type treatments, you know, you'll just get better results. What are your thoughts on um some may say this is elective? This is mm -hmm. not important. This is elective. You guys are crazy folks. You know, people say that you know, like you guys are you guys in California, you know, whatever. Um I think it's essential. I say it's, it's part of anything else you would, any other medical thing you would deal with. I feel the same. So I wonder what your thoughts are on that. But, but, oh, yeah. Yeah. So we, you know, again, like you said, a lot of this elective, but, you know, what again, what we really like to get, get to the core root of the problem, you know, and that is your body's already producing hormones. Unfortunately, as we age, they decline, your body doesn't produce enough. So it's about optimizing them you know, not taking too much, but really it's like a sympathy, getting it right. You know, thyroid, estrogen, progesterone, women, testosterone levels for both men and women, um, D uh, uh, DHEA, pregnant, all the hormones getting in balance. So, so it's really about health. So aesthetic is one thing that's more elective, but it's about, you know, improving your health, you know, the quality of your life as well. So, yeah. So, and nowadays, you know, as you know, you know, now it's a lot different than 20 years ago. So, you know, even, even Dan came, came from Iowa and, you know, uh, you wouldn't ever think he would have his friends back home would ever get Botox or dermal fillers, right. probably. But, you know, here he is doing it. So, yeah, yeah. you know, a lot more men and we're seeing it, too. You know, it used to be 95 percent women. Now it's probably 85 percent women. So a lot more women of uh, men are now getting treated as well because they're realizing, you know, look, they want you know, they're living longer. So they want to look better and live healthier as well. I'm glad you said that. Go ahead, uh, Dan. You're gonna say something. I would do what you mentioned men because I want to make sure that's if this is equal opportunity. Yeah, I know men have gotten work done too. So I mean, I mean, it's not just that, like this is for every this Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center is for everyone. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah for, for sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I wish I say that because I'm I'm glad you brought that up. Um, one last thing: Do you miss television? You miss you miss the production of television. <laughs> you know, it was it was fun back in the day. Um, really enjoyed it. We had a three year run with Sunset Tan, and we had a yep. few other shows with E that we were working on as well that that end up not making it. They end up with you know all the Kardashian shows on E. Oh, but, yeah. oh, yeah. uh, but we've also been pitched here uh, at Beverly Hills and Junior to do a reality show about kind of like an extreme makeover. Patients coming in, mostly you know celebrities or you know uh, athletes, you know they kind of disappeared. So now bringing them back to great health and getting them back successful, you know, in the entertainment business. So, so we've been pitched that and that's still a possibility that uh, we may end up doing something here about changing health, you know, health changing lives with the right health and aesthetic treatment. So. Oh yeah. I hope, I hope so. We'll say it out loud. Hopefully, you know, yeah. I would say we want to show that it works for you guys yeah. and for the audience at the same time. And they meet whatever yeah. your terms are. And I'm going to say it out loud that it, it will be something yeah. that will, It'll be good for you guys. Yeah. Um, one last thing, each of you guys, if for anybody watching this, they've watched the interview, they may go online afterwards to get a look. What would you like to tell potential clients? Well, um, you would it would be if, if you want to feel amazing again. Uh, if you can remember back waking up and just having this incredible energy to just go you know live your best ever day and feel amazing and have no limitations with energy strength stamina any of those things if you want to live like that come and see us get your blood work done uh, make sure that we've got optimal hormone levels and if not we can help you get there um, if you've got any aging stuff going on that, that you don't like the effects anymore and you want to do something about it, it's 
really there's almost no limits now to what we can do to help you find your way to a better place, whether it's a joint injury, head, hair on the head missing, uh, droopy, saggy jowls, whatever it might be. Um, we can help you with just about anything now. It's amazing where it's at, how far it's come. And we're just at this place now that I, I couldn't even really imagine us being where we're at 15 years ago. Um, I just thought it was amazing that we did hormones and that we could do what we did with hormones. But now how far it's come, it's just amazing. Yeah. So very and, exciting. Yeah. And James, you mentioned that your grandfather didn't look like you back, yeah. you know, back in the day. And it's the same here is that I'm 62 years old. I feel like I'm 25 to yeah. 30. It's, I cannot believe how I feel at this age. It's like, I, I definitely don't feel any older than 30 years old. You know? yeah. So, you know, I have zero aches, pains. My sleep's great. My energy's great. My workouts are great. I'm 62, still working out an hour and a half a day, healthy. So yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing what you can do. It's just getting with the right doctor, the right clinic that can help you again. The aesthetic is all great, but work on the root of the problems. You know, if you got weight problems, you know, we can do cool sculpting, radio frequency to reduce it. But why not look at the root of the problem, solve your that, you know, hormone levels, uh, thyroid issues, whatever that may be, solve those problems and live a healthier life. Yeah, that's that's, that's amazing. And uh, see, folks, you can live and look well into your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Yeah. We, just, we just can. Um, and the Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center is a place you can go to. Uh, for those needs. Um, yeah. Thank you, Devin and Dan. Thanks for being on my show, my new friends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Um, Looking forward question. to seeing you come in, too. I know. Well, I'm going to come down there at some point today and, and do right. some of your own stuff. But I'm like, I'm going to check some stuff out while I'm there, too. Yeah. See what's, going, see what's going on. I know you guys now. And I need to go to Nashville and talk to your, talk to your brother and say, I, I know your brother. I want to ride on a horse. Yeah. Ride, take me for a ride. ride. You you take me for a ride. We're going to ride for a horse. I love it. Um, tell folks where you can find you guys online. That's, that's All a right. It's uh, Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center. Our website is bhrcenter, C E N T E R dot com. Right. I'll put all this stuff below. Uh, right. plus, plus their plus their biographies. I'll put below in the description. You guys at home. Thanks for watching. A lot of help. A lot of help yeah. on Facebook. We're also at JLJ Media all over the place. I'm on. I'm James on Junior on LinkedIn and everywhere else there too. Um, and we brought you another another great episode about health and wellness, which we'll continue to do on this channel um, because we're here for you. Actually, we're here for you. We're here for me. We're here for you. We're all in this together. And everyone, please have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon.